Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Kieran the Barber speaking, aka Kieran Price as my real name. Um, how you all doing? You all good? Today we are doing um, a buzz cut. It seems like um, over the last year or so, um, when I put a buzz cut on either my YouTube or my Instagram, it seems to do really, really well. It seems to be a really fashionable cut at the minute. Um, and this Nom Nom has had a buzz cut for the last few years. He really, really likes it. It's just an easy haircut. I currently have a buzz cut. So yeah, nah, it's a really, really good haircut. So we're starting off with the Andish Nations. Um, I think I'm on a number three here. No, actually, I know I'm on a number three here. I'm removing all the bulk so I can get ready to start shaving that down to skin. So guys, if you haven't been on my channel before, um, thank you. Thank you for viewing, first of all. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, that'd be great. Guess what, this video is my first video since I've hit 100,000 subscribers. So if you are one of them 100,000 subscribers that are listening right now, I thank you, I appreciate you, you're awesome. Um, I wanna know where my 100,000 subscribers are from in the world right now, so guys, leave a little comment down below saying where you're from. Um, and also leave a little comment down below asking what you want me to do next, what, what haircut you want to see next. Um, I've got a lot of stuff coming up on my YouTube um, for this Kieran the Barber account. In January actually I'm switching off of doing haircutting, well I'm still going to be doing my haircutting videos in between, but I'm going to be doing a kind of a weight loss journey video actually. Um, and I'm putting it on here now so then I know that I have to do it because you'll have heard me say it so I have to do it. So from January you're going to be seeing me um, doing a weight loss video because I'm currently really really heavy and I've tried every diet under the sun it doesn't seem to work so I know if you guys can support me and help me through this um, journey um, give me advice and tips etc etc um, I know I've got to do it because I put it out to the world and it's embarrassing if you don't do it so yeah now nah, I'm really really looking forward to that um, just a quick one, I'm using the T-Outliners and my T-Outliners have a ceramic blade on them. I bought a ceramic blade from eBay, it wasn't very expensive. I just find the ceramic blade on the T-Outliners makes it glide a hell of a lot easier, um, last longer, smoother cutting as you can see yourself. What I like to do is, if I haven't got a dry shave um, powder, I'll whack a little bit of talcum powder on the, um, on the skin before I shave. Just stops irritation. The talc also um, gets into the foils, it actually cleans the hair out of the foils. It's just all round, just a little tiny bit of talc just to put like a barrier over it. It's absolutely perfect. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you carry on with this video, but do not forget to subscribe to me. Subscribe, all right? Else I will find you, and I will press that subscribe button on your computer or laptop or phone. So what I'm doing here guys is I'm working my way down through the sections like I always would do. Start off with a number two closed and then a one and a half open, a one and a half closed, then a one open, a one closed, and then a zero guard or a half guard open, um, and then a half guard closed, and then no guard open, no guards closed, and then I do a little bit of trigger play, opening and closing the guard just to take out any shadowing. And then what I might do is I'll pick up my trimmers 
and I'll just make sure the um, trimmer just takes out that last little line. Now my favourite part of a buzz cut 
is getting to shave that top off. We shaved the top off at number three. I did actually tell Nom Nom that it was gonna be a number four, but I don't care, a number three looks better. Um, and he was happy. Sometimes you just gotta go with it. So yeah, I did a number three on the top, made sure it went all the way over and around. And then what I'm gonna do is, because the sides will still be a little bit weighty, I'll run the clippers just a number two and a number one and a half just to make sure that's all blended in properly. Um, and it's a smooth transition. Plus I'll probably go over with a clipper over comb just to make sure that's nice and straight. Just to get, because Nom's hair has a couple of cow's licks in it and stuff like that, so you just gotta make sure you've blended that whole partition out of it. Now when I go and do the shape up, especially around the front, um, not pushing Nom Nom back, I'm just tapping on um, the edges of his hair just to make it nice and straight. You don't see me pushing that back at all, I'll just take it right to that edge and then I'll just shape that round, give it a nice squared look, so it's just nice and sharp really. So what I did was I just put in um, a couple of scratch lines just to enhance the haircut really, make it really stand out, make it really pop. 
So yeah, just do two little scratch lines with my T outliners. The reason I use my T outliners instead of my slim lines is that because the blade is quite wide, it just helps out. It just makes it like for me that's the perfect length of it. And that's why I do that and then one just underneath. What you see me do is you'll see me fan out slightly as well because I like the top of the scratch line to be a little bit thicker than the bottom of the scratch line. So I'll just fan that clipper out just to make it a little bit thicker at the top and thinner at the bottom. So then after I finished doing that I will shave Nom Nom's beard off at a half. We literally just take it all off. He looks like a tramp. His beard is terrible. So <laughs> I'm using my masters just because, <laughs> I'll be honest, just because I haven't used them in a video really yet so I'm just showing them off. I've had them for forever and I haven't really got the chance to use them properly in a video yet. So yeah, here's the masters. Comment down below if you've got a pair. Let me know what you think of them yourself. Let me know if you think they're good. Let me know if you think they're really good. Yeah, muscles sick. Now using a little bit of Maverick blade slip is absolutely amazing. It just lets the blade of your cutthroat run across the, um, the skin, gives it a nice little barrier, but it's a smooth transition um, and the customers will say it feels really, really nice. It just gives, creates a barrier and it's, it's safe. It's very, very good. I recommend it. Now some people do this, some people don't do this, I tend to do it, I'll get my scissors and I'll just take off, the, as you can see that is cutting, just them ever so it ends off, just so it doesn't look like his hair is poking out of the front, just takes off, just ever so slightly, not crazy amounts, but enough to take that edge off, so it's it kind of it's smooth all the way around from top to bottom, goes all the way around, um, it's kind of equal all the way. So yeah, that's why I do that and it just makes it look smooth, makes it like it's kind of stuck to the head slightly instead of it poking out. Just little bits, little finishing touches, they make absolutely everything. And now I'm going to use my gun with a little bit of hair tint in it. And you can see already how much this changes the game. I love hair tint. Um, people may say it's for people that are photoshopping and stuff like that, but I really don't care. It's amazing. Um, my client here, he was going out on a Christmas do, 
so it's like I want to say it's like almost like makeup for men it makes you look sharp and makes your haircut real pop real stand out I don't care that people say that it look it's Photoshop it's fake it's fake hair um, my clients love it I love it and yeah it works for me So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, um, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Just comment down below anything. I want to hear from you. Peace.